Hello everybody, uh, my name is uh, Dr. Zhang. I'm an internal medicine physician and a paramedic researcher. Today, I'm very excited to talk to you about my thoughts for long COVID. I come with a conclusion that uh, long COVID symptoms are actually caused by lacking of oxygen in the tissue, not in the blood. I call it a tissue hypoxia theory. Uh, I was uh, walking on the beach at the Ocean Isle in North Carolina this week and uh, it suddenly occurred to me that, uh, you know, long COVID might have some common treatment. And what is the treatment? I know that it is a very complex, but it has to be a simple solution to it. It suddenly occurred to me that uh, it has shared a lot of similarity to a common medical problems. So when you have a long COVID, you always feel tired. You are short of breath when you exert yourself and uh, you have a headache your brain does not function. What it sounds like, it shares a lot of similarity to a, a condition called obstructive sleep apnea. You know, when you sleep, your upper airway is cut off and the oxygen supply reduced. So when you wake up in the morning, you just feel tired. And could this be the source of all the symptoms associated with long COVID? It might be. And uh, you know, look at uh, the previous uh, my previous talk, you know that uh, there are a lot of clots in the microcirculation. And uh, then I start digging up the studies and uh, over the last three days, and it all makes sense now. And uh, our tissue has reduced oxygen supply due to blood clots in the microcirculation. Even we have a normal oxygen saturation by measurement, our tissue is still hungry for oxygen. This must be the source of our symptoms. Uh, let's review our previous uh, uh, videos. The first one, we talked about the mechanisms of long COVID. Uh, we know that uh, from a previous talk that uh, the virus are no longer active in the system. They are neutralized and the antibody has bound to it. And uh, the antibody can bind to complements and uh, they activate the inf inflammation cascade then they can activate free radicals called cell death. And a component of the process also activate the thrombin and activate the platelets, cause micro uh, clots in the microcirculation. And uh, let's look at uh, the microcirculation in the next second picture. And uh, you see the red is the small arteries and uh, the blue is the vein. In between are capillaries. And the, ca the, the artery um, bring oxygen and uh, they circulate, diffuse through the capillaries to the interstitial space and uh, supply oxygen for our cells. The CO2 produced by tissue will penetrate back into capillaries and carry it back from the venous system to our lungs. And uh, if we have a lot of clotting in this circulation, then the oxygen exchange is impaired. When this happens, and the organ dysfunction can happen, and you can have all kinds of problems, including your heart, your brain, your muscle, and everything. And low oxygen also causes cell death, and eventually leading to poor organ function. So, is that any evidence to suggest that uh, in the studies. The first, we know that uh, the chronic inflammation, activated thrombin and activated uh, platelets, they can cause micro blood clot in the tissue. And this has been uh, proven in various studies. And uh, number two, we know that D-dimer is always elevated. D-dimer uh, is produced when the blood clot is produced and dissolved. So elevated D-dimer always reflects the blood clot formation. And uh, we know that the D-dimer is elevated in most of long COVID patients. We also know pathology studies showed widespread mild clots in the tissues in people who died of COVID. And uh, some functional study by MRI also indicated there is a functional changes in the microcirculation. Uh, they have increased resistance and uh, they have uh, poor circulation. So I think that uh, based on our study, uh, previous uh, talks and studies, 
uh, we are fairly sure that the microcirculation is uh, blocked up and uh, we might have oxygen problem from it. So how to treat it? Apparently, uh, the long COVID is a very comprehensive problem. So you need a comprehensive treatment, including immunosuppression, anti-inflammation, antioxidation, and a treatment of blood clots. And this, well, I have talked in my previous videos. And also you need to relieve symptoms fairly quickly because uh, this problem is uh, very debilitating. To relieve the symptom quickly, probably we should focus on improve the tissue circulation and oxygenation. Our parent treatment will be oxygen. In theory, the oxygen saturation cannot measure tissue ischemia. So even if, even if your oxygen saturation is above 94%, your tissue may not get the oxygen. Unfortunately, the insurance company does not see this. They use oxygen saturation as a measure for their payment. So they will not pay if you receive oxygen when your oxygen saturation is above 94%. So you have to talk to your doctor about it. In a small study of 10 patients, the study used uh, uh, a hyperbaric oxygen to treat some patients with severe lung COVID symptoms. So they result in a dramatic improvement so in um, hyperbaric oxygen treatment, people are normally put in a high pressure oxygen chamber, resulting in a very high oxygen level in the tissue. So this measure has been treated for tissue ischemia in a, in a peripheral vessel disease when the tissue, when the, you know, your foot is dying, and uh, this can improve your oxygen. And to conclude to this talk, I think that uh, long COVID still need a comprehensive treatment but to relieve symptoms, um, we need oxygen. Uh, please talk to your doctor about it. Thanks for watching.